This is Mariah Gladstone from Indigi Kitchen, and today we're going to be making a blue cornmeal crusted fish with some squash noodles. This recipe is super simple, can be put together in just a matter of minutes, and can be made with almost any type of fish that you're able to harvest. For this recipe, I'm going to be using the bow and arrow blue cornmeal made by the Ute Mountain Ute Tribe, and I'm going to be seasoning this with the Sakari Botanical Cedar Smoked Salt. As I said, this recipe is super easy. We're just going to bread our fish in some blue cornmeal, fry it up in a pan, then we're going to make our zucchini noodles and get them going on the pan fresh while our fish cools down and everything will be ready at the same time. To make our breading for our fish, we're actually just going to add our blue cornmeal and our cedar smoked salt to a large flat bottom dish and then we're going to dip our fish into it. You only really need about a half a cup of cornmeal if you're doing two fillets. Be careful not to dump out too much because of course anything that your raw fish has touched won't be able to go back in the bag. Next we're just going to add a little bit of our cedar smoked salt. This product is great because it's just a wonderful simple salt but it also has these cedar and smoky elements to it that make it a wonderful all-around seasoning. We're just going to add a couple pinches of this to our entire dish. Just going to briefly stir this up with my hands. Sometimes when you're breading things, you'll see recipes have you dipping it in an egg mixture first to help everything stick. For this recipe, we're actually just going to dip our fish straight into our cornmeal and just press it down slightly. We're going to be pan frying it so it's not going to be using a ton of oil and you won't have a lot of things that are going to be at risk of coming off in our little oil mixture. We're just going to take one of our fish fillets and we're just going to press it down into this cornmeal mixture. We can heap some cornmeal mixture on top of it and you just want to coat it as thoroughly as possible. Get all the cornmeal on it that will stick. So of course when you pick this up you should have a nice easy breaded filet. Unfortunately any cornmeal that I didn't use will have to be discarded as it has raw fish and potential pathogens on it. The next step is just to heat our pan. The next step is to heat our pan up to about a medium high heat and add a little bit of oil to get that heating up as well. I'm using a cast iron pan, but you're perfectly welcome to use a nonstick pan for this as well. For this recipe, I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil. After my oil's heated for about two minutes, I'm just going to add my fish directly into the pan. Be gentle about this because if your oil is too hot and you splash, it can hurt you. We'll let this fish cook for about five minutes on each side. After about five minutes, we're just going to turn this over. Remember to be gentle because of the danger of the oil splashing. In the meantime, I rinsed off my plate that was holding my fish so that it's all clean and ready to accept the now cooked fish. At this point, I'm going to turn off the heat and remove the fish from the pan. The next thing we're going to need to do is to cut our squash into noodles. There's a couple of different ways that this can be done, but I'm going to use this little tool, which will make noodle cutting super easy. If you didn't want to use one of these, you could even take a vegetable peeler and just keep peeling away at your squash until you end up with a whole bunch of noodle shapes. I'm just going to cut the end off of my squash, and then I'm going to grate these into noodles. 
If you're using one of these, it's really easy to make really, really long noodles. So I'm careful to pull my zucchini out every couple of turns so that my noodles don't end up like the longest noodles on earth. These are gonna be super easy to cook. I'm just gonna turn my pan back to medium heat and then I'm gonna throw these into the pan. There's no need to clean the pan. We're just gonna use the oil that's remaining in there and any of that blue cornmeal will just kind of get incorporated into our noodles as a little bit of extra crunchiness. Because I have this cedar smoked salt here, I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of this on the top too. Right now, the squash noodles are kind of this white, almost opaque color, but once they cook, they're gonna turn translucent and start to become a little bit more see-through. It only takes about three minutes on medium heat to cook our squash noodles. When they're done cooking, I'm just gonna transfer them back to their original bowl and prepare everything to serve. I'm just gonna toss these squash noodles with a little bit of pesto. I'm using some traditional basil pesto, but if you have access to wild greens that you can make into a pesto, I would do that. I'm just lightly tossing these noodles with a little bit of pesto, just to add a little bit more flavor into them. And then I'm gonna plate everything up. And here we have an easy, super fast, delicious, and healthy meal made with indigenous agricultural products and traditional native foods. The squash is like wonderfully sweet, especially when combined with the basil pesto. And the fish is crunchy and pan fried and has this wonderful smoky flavor from that salt. And it's all just combining so deliciously.